how to create a clickbank affiliate website hey what's going on guys my name is alex and welcome to my channel money is awesome where i share tips on how to succeed online and in this video i want to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a clickbank affiliate website i know that it's uh, super popular these days to promote clickbank products using paid ads like facebook ads google ads bing ads and all that stuff but the thing is in order to promote successfully clickbank products using paid ads you need to have a pretty solid budget you need budget to test different products different landing pages different angles and all that stuff you need budget to learn all the methods all sorts of different paid ads platforms and all that and for every single aspect of it you need a lot of money especially if you are a beginner but there's an alternative an alternative way to promote clickbank products that not a lot of people are talking about and this alternative is called affiliate marketing website it also can be called a niche website or even a blog that you monetize with affiliate marketing and in our case with clickbank products the main advantage of this method to promote clickbank products is the super low amount of money that you need at the beginning to start promoting clickbank products all you need is to buy a domain name and hosting to build your website from scratch a self-hosted wordpress website and in this video i'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it how to go from having nothing at all not a domain name not a hosting not a website nothing at all to having your website built from scratch and ready to publish your first articles to your website it's going to be super beginner friendly tutorial where i will show you step by step over my shoulder how it's done you can just follow each and every step and create your own brand new website from scratch in no time now guys without further ado let's begin and before we jump to my laptop if you want to learn how to make money with affiliate marketing but don't know how i invite you to join my free affiliate marketing course by following the link below this video in the description the very first step that we have to do before we start building our website we have to sign up for a hosting plan and buy a domain name hosting is a space on a server of a specialized company that we are renting it's exactly where our website is going to be located on the internet all the content all the files of your website and a domain name is pretty much url of your website for example youtube.com is a domain name to sign up for a hosting plan with 51 percent discount follow the link below this video in the description and you will arrive to the website of a2 hosting this is the hosting that i personally use myself to store to host all my websites for all the projects so if you ask me which hosting company is better to go with i would recommend a2 hosting but if you don't want to go with a hosting feel free to choose any other hosting company it's totally up to you having said that let's continue on this page all you have to do is just click get started to claim your 51 percent discount right here you have three options light swift and turbo so basically if you plan to build just one single website I recommend you to stick with light because it's going to be the cheapest option if you plan to build more than one website then i recommend you to go with swift because it will provide you with unlimited amount of websites this is the plan that i personally use because i have multiple websites i have websites for this youtube channel i have micro niche affiliate websites and from time to time I create even more additional websites for separate projects so for the sake of this tutorial i will choose light when you click this button get light 51 percent discount will get applied automatically so you don't have to worry about it now we have to pick and register a domain name i can give you one solid recommendation don't overthink this just pick a domain and move on there's only one criteria that you have to meet you have to choose .com domain so for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to choose totally random domain name for example random domain blog.com check after you click check button the system will check the availability 
of this domain name because if the domain name is not available for example somebody already bought that domain name that you wanted to buy you will not be able to register that domain name in this case you will have to check another one until you find the available one so as you can see this particular domain is available and it will cost me $14.95 per year. You just pay $14.95 and forget about it until next year. So after you've done that, just click continue. At this step, what I highly recommend you to add to card is ID protection, because without this, without the ID protection, everybody will be able to see your personal details of your website. But ID protection protects the data and nobody will be able to see your name nobody will be able to see your contact details one important detail that i want to point out is that 51 percent discount is applicable only once one time when you're paying right now when you're creating your account by default you get offered to pay for three years right away to apply 51 percent discount for three years in advance but you are free to choose to pay for one month only for that you have to go to the cards right here on top of the screen then click edit right here and right here on top you can choose your billing cycle you can pay monthly you can pay annually biannually triannually so if you choose to pay monthly then you get 51 percent discount only for the first month for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to choose monthly because i already have my own unlimited hosting account with a hosting where i store all my projects all my websites on this screen i also recommend you to go to server location and think where your potential audience is going to be if you plan to promote your website to the u.s audience then keep it u.s but if your target audience is in europe then i recommend you to choose europe and the same with asia because the closer the server will be located to your target audience the faster the website will be for that audience and also if you scroll down a little bit more you will find section auto install application and from the drop down menu choose wordpress on this stage click done and we're done here now you have to fill out these three fields right here to calculate the taxes if you have to pay them then click update totals and as you can see i personally will have to pay taxes because i'm from european union so in my case the total amount will be 36 dollars and five cents for one full year of domain name and one month of hosting plan with 51 percent discount after that just click checkout and continue now at this step you have to fill out this form with all the necessary information after you've done that tick i accept and click continue and on this step you have to choose the payment method in my case it's going to be paypal then you have to check this box right here and complete your order after the payment is processed you will arrive to this page now this is the main dashboard of your account now you have to go to your email and confirm your account just go there click confirmation button and after that get back to this dashboard and right here go to domains click my domains and right here you will see the domain that you have just registered you can click the right button of your mouse click open in new tab and you will access your website your website is live already and now i'm going to show you how you can access the admin panel of your website where everything is happening where you're going to be publishing your blog posts where you're going to change the theme of your website and edit all the settings of your website to access your admin panel of your website all you have to do is go to the address bar of your browser and right here put after your domain name for example in my case is going to be randomdomainblog.com you have to add forward slash and then wp minus admin and click enter and you will arrive to this kind of page by default your username will be admin but you at this moment you don't know the password of your admin panel for this we have to go back to the dashboard of our a2 hosting account and set up the password of the admin panel of our website this we have to do just once and after that you will be able to access the admin panel of your website without 
logging in to your A2 hosting account. This whole process is just the initial setup of your website and after that everything is going to be really easy and simple. So right here in the dashboard of our A2 hosting account you see right here cPanel login. Just click this little button and you will access the cPanel of your account. On this page you have to find the blog Softalicious Apps Installer. You have to click blogs right here and after you arrive to this page click WordPress then scroll down and click on the icon of this little man just below the admin. The new tab will open automatically and congratulations this is the dashboard of the admin panel of your website. And right now I'm going to show you how you can change the password from your admin panel of your website. Click right here in the top right, click edit my profile. After that scroll to the bottom of the page, click generate password and click update profile. But before that I recommend you to save this password because you will be asked for this password every single time when you will be logging into the admin panel of your website. So let's click update profile and as you can see our profile is updated. Now I'm going to show you how you can change the theme of your website because this theme that you see right now on your website is the basic theme that comes by default when you create a brand new website. It's not the worst theme but it's definitely not the best one. For this you have to go to appearance, click themes and right here you see already installed themes on your website. Only one of them is active as you can see right here active 2019. You can either activate already installed themes that you see right here or you can add a brand new theme that hasn't been installed to your website yet. So click add a new theme and on this page you will find unlimited amount of new themes of all sorts of themes, magazine type of themes, e-commerce type of themes, one page themes, literally any type of themes, all sorts of designs. So it's totally up to you which ones to choose. If you click on popular themes, you will see that there are 4,209 themes available to you to install to your website. I recommend you to choose one and stick to it because the most important thing of your entire website is content. Don't forget about that and don't get distracted with the amount of themes available to you. Don't get buried in the selection process of a theme for your website. Just pick one. For example, one of the basic solid robust themes is called Generate Press. You can click install and then click activate to activate the theme right away. Or you can go to themes and find this freshly installed theme among the rest of the themes that are installed on your website. So you can click activate right here and your theme is activated. So if we refresh the website, we will see that our website started to look differently. If you want to customize your theme, you can go to customize or click on the name of your theme. Not all the themes will have additional functionality, additional customization options, but generate press is one of those that has additional options. And also a lot of themes provide you with the basic version of a theme, but if you want to get additional functionality and go deep into customizing your theme, then you can buy the paid version. Now when it comes to themes, you have two options. The first one to stick to a free theme and the second one to go with a paid one. And if you ask me for an advice what kind of paid theme I would recommend. My recommendation number one is Thrive Themes. I personally use some of the products of Thrive Themes and it's incredible. It's just insanely amazing. And when you get Thrive Themes, you get all these products that are listed right here in front of you along with the theme included into the price. I'll drop the link to Thrive Themes below this video in the description so you can check it out yourself. Now let's get back to the website. So to customize theme you have to click customize or generate press. So if we go to customize you will see that on the left side you have some stuff that you can change. You can change for example the color of this bar. For example if we click colors uh, there's navigation color presets. For example by default this is the default. We can uh, choose gray, we can choose red, we can choose 
white, we can choose blue, we can uh, change the colors of the hyperlinks, we can change the text, and we can change a lot of things. I'm not going to go deep into the customization of your website because you can spend your time and see what you can change yourself. Now, before I show you how you can create and publish your very first article, your very first blog post on your website, let's go through the settings and tweak some things. Well, first of all, you can change the title of your blog and tag line. The rest of the things on this page in general settings are not necessary to change. And after that, go to permalinks here on the left. So right here, I recommend you to go with post name only unless your content is time sensitive. If your website is going to be kind of news, news website, you know, you will be publishing content that is time sensitive, then you can go with kind of month and name or day and name. It's totally up to you. But in the majority of scenarios, if you are going to be publishing just blog posts, kind of informative content that is not time sensitive, then I recommend you to stick with post name because it's going to be easy, easier for you and easier for the visitors of your web website. After that, click save changes. Now we have to go to appearance and widget. Widgets you can see on your website on the right side right here. As you can see, archives usually is a good idea to delete them. Categories is up to you if you will be using categories and divide your blog posts by categories, then you can keep categories right here. But meta we definitely want to remove because it's not very nice for regular customers, for regular visitors of your website to see all these unnecessary information. So I usually remove it uh, pretty easy. We have to go to appearance, widgets, and right here, meta is that part in the bottom. We have to just click delete. Then categories is up to you. Let's leave them as they are, or maybe you can delete right now until you have more categories when you publish more content. Archives, I usually delete as well because I don't want to keep that because they will see recent posts right here. I recommend you to keep search so that your visitors will be able to search for content and uh, some pieces of content uh, in particular. Recent posts as well, um, your visitors of your website will see recent posts. You can even increase uh, the amount of recent posts they will see up to 10, let's say. Too many recent posts will be too much, uh, but even five recent posts is just fine. Recent comments is um, also a good thing to have, but it's totally up to you. If you don't have, for example, at the beginning, you don't have visitors to your website, then you can remove recent con uh, comments until you start getting actually comments. Because right now with zero comments on your website, there will be no comments at all. And it's not very good for your reputation. So for now, I would recommend you to delete as well. So right here, I think pretty much it. For now, now we have to go to pages and publish our privacy policy page. Privacy policy is mandatory by uh, some laws and some uh, like GDPR law. If you haven't heard about it, I recommend you to uh, look into it. But either way, a lot of um, other platforms demand you to have privacy policy on your website, like Google, for example, um, if you will plan to run Facebook ads, Google ads, or um, use some other kind of tools on your website, it's always good to have privacy policy. So right now it's pre-created by WordPress when you were installing WordPress to your hosting and uh, now it's saved in draft. So we have to click edit and in front of you is privacy policy. I recommend you to go through this privacy policy and edit if you feel the need to because it's obviously created automatically and uh, some of the things may not be relevant to your website, relevant to the user experience on your website. And you might want to change some things. But if you are a beginner, if you don't have any idea what this is all about, just leave it as it is. You can also check this view privacy policy guide to help you understand what this is all about and how to write your own privacy policy. But also if you Google, just go to Google and Google actually 
um, privacy policy creator, free creator or something like that, or free privacy policy generator and free uh, terms of service generator as well, you will find uh, kind of specialized websites how you can create those privacy policy and terms of service for your needs. And then you can just copy and paste to your website. But for now, you can just click publish, again, publish, and that's it. And if we go to our blog, we can refresh our page and we see the new page right here, privacy policy. Sample page, I recommend you to delete it as well. If we go to pages, all pages, and right here, I recommend you to delete. For that, you have to just tick right here, bulk action, move to trash, and apply. And that's it. If we uh, refreshed our page, we have privacy policy here. Now it's time to create contact page. For that, we have to go to plugins, add new, search for contact form, and let's install contact form by WP Forms. Just install, then click activate. Now you can watch this video tutorial and explanation how to use it, but let me show you how you can create contact us page easily. Create your first form, then go to simple contact form and click this button, create a simple contact form. Here we don't have to change anything and we have to just click save. Then exit. On this page, you have to highlight this short code and copy. And then go to pages, click add new, put into the title of the page contact or contact us. Then just paste that short code and click publish. Click pub publish again and that's it. When we go to our website, we refresh the page and we see that contact us page appeared right here on top in the main menu. When we click contact us, we go there and we see this contact form. So when a visitor will want to contact you, to send you an email, they will not actually know your personal email, so you will not be getting a lot of spam. Instead, they will have to fill out this form with their name, with their email address, and the comment or a message that they want to send to you. And then they click submit and you receive this email from them. Now let's move on to the last step. I will show you how you can publish your very first blog post, the very first article. For that, to manage all the articles, the old ones, the new ones, you have to go to posts. You click posts and right here you will see the list of the articles. So in the brand new website, obviously the only articles that, uh, that there is is hello world. It's just default sample article not to have your blog empty. So this is hello world. Uh, you actually have to delete it or you can just click edit and edit it. I, I'm going to delete it, click trash and that's it. For that, you have to just click add new right here. And this is the window where you will be writing your blog post. You have two options. You can start writing a blog post right here in this window or I recommend you to start writing in Word, for example, or uh, Google Documents or somewhere somewhere else, just, you know, but it's up to you. You can start writing blog posts right here as well. Just for the sake of this tutorial, let me copy an article from one of my websites, Chameleons as Pets. So this is going to be the article that I will publish. I am just pasting right here. Now I'm going to show you how you can edit it. So I just pasted the entire article inside of this space. Right here we are going to add the title and if you need additional settings you can click uh, this uh, gear symbol and you will get access to additional settings. So uh, now we can also uh, save image and insert the image there. I recommend you to have more images in your blog posts. It makes blog posts more interactive. It's really easy to place an image inside your blog post, all you have to do is do like that. And then we can um, edit, for example, the placement so that the text is going on the left side and the image is on the right or vice versa or without the text is sort of up to you. Uh, you can also in increase the size of the image uh, 
whatever you want to do with that. Also, if you want to change, for example, this is heading three, but if you want to make this heading a little bit bigger, you can do like that. And um, there are, you know, all that setting, all these settings are pretty much the same as in Word. So I'm sure you will be comfortable using it. It's really easy, as you can see, uh, pretty much everything like uh, drag and drop kind of and everything can be changed like in few clicks after your article is ready to go live just double check and after that just click publish right here now you can open that post and view post in a new window so this is the article that we have just published right here as you can see in the bottom of the page people will uh, be able to leave the comments and you will get notification actually and you will see all the comments right here in the dashboard in the comment section. Now, uh, what else? As you can see, recent posts, Vild, Camille and Kia Sheet. Uh, you will see all the recent posts right here. Uh, categories, I didn't place category, I didn't add um, the category to this post, so it's still uncategorized. But if you want to change the category, it's totally up to you. Now, guys, as you can see, it was pretty easy and simple to create a brand new website from scratch. Now, guys, your own ClickBank affiliate website is ready to publish articles to and start promoting ClickBank products right away. If you like this video, hit the like button below. If you're new here on my channel, then consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button below this video. Now, guys, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.